today let's talk about artichokes, uh, cleaning and cooking them. Uh, there are many, many ways to uh, prepare an artichoke, of course. Um, I'll show you a couple different uh, methods uh, that we use here at the restaurant. We have two different kinds of artichokes. These are um, the large globe artichokes. These are just the smaller version, um, baby artichokes. They come in all sorts of sizes, ranging from a little bit larger than this to uh, smaller than this even. So a couple of different things you want to look for when purchasing an artichoke is a nice closed, firm head. You don't want it to be squishy because it means it's going to be dried out. Um, look for a clean cut on the end, nothing brown or dried up. Uh, also the color of the leaves. Uh, you'll see some that look like they almost have like a gray or brown sort of fuzz over them and those occur um, over the winter uh, during the colder months. It's just a, a cosmetic um, thing and actually uh, uh, some people believe that it makes the artichokes sweeter. So um, just want to overall look for a good condition on the artichokes. Uh, it's true for both the uh, babies and the, the large size here. So uh, a couple of different things to talk about today. First one, we'll do a whole roasted artichoke, which is a very, very simple preparation. We'll start just by cutting the stem off and then we'll take off about an inch on the top. Exposing the heart there. This is a, a simple preparation uh, where all we do is season this with a little bit of olive oil. A little fresh lemon juice. Salt. Cracked pepper. We'll add a whole clove of garlic right in the center there. And that'll roast while this artichoke cooks, become nice and sweet. Throw the stem in there. Wrap this up nice and tight. And this will cook in a 375 degree oven, depending on the size, uh, anywhere between 45 to 60 minutes. The next way we can prepare this artichoke uh, is a bit more classic. We'll start by taking some of the leaves off. And it's important that when you're removing the leaves, you want to try to pinch them as you're removing them. Because what that does is it allows the leaf to snap off of the artichoke, leaving as much of the meat behind as possible because after all, that's what you eat down here. For this method, we'll start by working our way around the base of the artichoke because what we're after here is the artichoke bottom and the stem. We're gonna remove the outer leaves, remove the choke. So you're gonna work your way around with the knife. You can see we've exposed that artichoke bottom. The choke is in there. Step number one. Here I have some acidulated water. This is just water with a couple of uh, halves of lemons squeezed into it. This will keep the artichoke from oxidizing. So step two, expose the base of the stem and we're gonna work our way down the stem with the tip of the knife. Cutting away all of the green. There's a lot of flavor in the stem so it's important to take the time Peel that back nice and clean. After every few cuts, a little dip in the water, help with the color. You can see we're just working away all that tough outer green part there. So again, the bottom is here, wherever you see the leaves start to change color. So we'll make one more cut to expose the choke. So we expose the choke and we'll just take a small spoon and scoop that out because it's too fibrous to eat. Let's see. Sort of work your way around best you can. using the side of the spoon to sort of scoop that away. 
give it a dip. See all those little fuzzy spots? Just want to get those all out of there. And there you have a cleaned artichoke ready for cooking. Okay, now we'll clean the baby artichokes. Um, similar to cleaning the larger artichokes, but you don't have to remove the actual choke from these because they're much more tender and actually edible. So we'll take a similar approach that we've done with the large ones where work around the bottom so you can start to see some of the pale yellow. Come down the stem again. Removing any of that tough outer green layer. And these inner leaves are much more tender, so we can make a cut. You can see where the yellowing starts to turn to green. We'll make a cut there. This is all edible. So just to help with the cooking, we'll cut it in half again. And that's ready to cook. Now we'll cook the artichokes. You can see they're cut in half. Nice and clean, all the tender yellow leaves. These chokes are edible, so that's not a problem there. We're gonna cook them in uh, water that has a little bit of lemon juice, a little bit of white wine, uh, some thyme, parsley, bay leaf, uh, clove of garlic, and salt. We'll finish that off with a little bit of olive oil. The flavor, uh, the oil also helps to uh, prevent oxidation, and we'll put a a parchment paper lid over the top to keep them nicely submerged and we'll gently simmer them for 25 to 45 minutes depending on the size of the artichoke and the uh, heat of the flame. I'll show you how to make the uh, parchment lid. We'll start with a square sheet of parchment or rectangle, doesn't really matter. Fold it in half. And half again the other way. So we've got our, our point here. Increasing it, kind of like a paper airplane. From there, we'll take it over to the pot. Measure the size of the pot from the center. Cut there. Cut a small hole in the center. And there we have our parchment lid. The large artichokes, uh, depending on the preparation, we can cook them whole. Sometimes we'll trim the stem off, cook them whole, and then stuff them with vegetables. Uh, other times we'll cut them in half, cook them, saute them on the cut side, or you can even quarter them for similar applications. Okay, so we're gonna check the artichokes for doneness. You can see they're simmering very gently. We've got our parchment lid on top, keeping them nicely submerged. beautiful, nice and white they are. So just insert the tip of a paring knife at the thickest part and there should be very little resistance. So these are very nicely cooked. You see they've got a beautiful blonde appearance with no oxidation. And what we'll do is we'll allow these to cool in this cooking liquid. Let's take a look at our roasted artichoke. You see we've got our nice roasted garlic clove there. Nice and sweet and caramelized. And then this one, you eat this by peeling off the, the outer leaves, and you've got that nice roasted artichoke meat there. We'll oftentimes serve this with a nice aioli or just a nice fresh extra virgin olive oil. It's great with grilled bread. Leaf by leaf. There it is, whole roasted artichoke. So you can work your, work your way all the way through this artichoke, piece by piece, exposing the bottom, which is perfectly edible. You just kind of scoop away at that. But you don't want to eat the choke, so the choke gets left behind. We've also 
got the stem in here, which you can just sort of split in half. And then the center part, the very center part, nicely cooked. Okay, here we have our different artichoke preparations. You can see the whole roasted artichoke. Uh, this is great for uh, sharing. Uh, guests love it here in the restaurant. It's really social, really fun to be able to pick off leaf by leaf. Um, we have our, our cooked baby artichokes, um, our large artichokes, which are cooked. And we can prepare these any number of ways. We can caramelize them, we can grill them, just glaze them simply with a little bit of olive oil, maybe a little bit of butter. Um, and then lastly, we have the liquid that the artichokes were cooked in, which is very flavorful from all of the white wine, the uh, aromatic herbs, the garlic, and of course the artichokes themselves. This is great to reserve and use this for a sauce. Uh, it's also really nice for poaching fish in, uh, as well as cooking vegetables.